Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Dumebilia. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back once again. So as usual, my disclaimer, please, this video is strictly for educational purposes. Do not go searching out anybody that I talk about on this video. Don't send them any form of hate, hate comment, threat, or violence. This channel does not support any of that so this palm colored woman made a video addressed to black women and she's been kind of getting mixed reactions let me just go right ahead and play her video i pray to god that this does not come off as offensive to anybody because i mean this with the utmost love and respect from the bottom of my whole entire heart but when a black woman calls me baby there is so much i what kind of magic are you putting in there because that shit hits harder than crack I, every single time, every encounter in my life that I have had with a black woman where she calls me baby, I have never felt more loved and supported in my entire life. I feel almost imprinted on. Like, like, are you my mother? I will go to the ends of the earth for that woman, okay? Ride or die, because it may have just been a very quick one-time encounter for her, but for me, you don't understand. We're like this what how how call me beat me if you gotta reach me because i will do whatever how can i be of service do you need a ride to church let me make reparations for my people because i love you and i don't know what it is but goddamn, there's something so special about it it's uh, magic i want to have that effect on people that is beautiful and i don't i love you and that's it i don't know i, I i've never felt more safe and secure in my life I love you so you guys when i heard that video i'm not gonna lie it touched something deep 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 in my soul and the sentiments that she actually shared in that video is something that a lot of people can relate to because i've seen several videos of palm colored people talking about how black women seem to give off that nurturing energy when they call them baby when they give them compliments how good it makes them feel this is not something that is unique to her like a lot of people have said it i saw several videos of people expressing something similar to what she said there on tiktok okay Dude, how do you feel? Now, of course, you guys know that black women had to respond to this because the video was addressed to them. But then her video was met with mixed reactions. Let me just go right ahead and play black women's stitches and commentary to what she said. What kind of magic are you putting in there? Because that shit hits harder than crap. There's not too many of y'all that's going to like the answer but y'all put this in black women white people put the absolute fear of death the fear of our children's lives the fear of our friends and partners and spouses lives and the fear of being harmed injured sold raped mutilated or somehow punished if we don't make you happy 24 hours a day now in Jim Crow time, right? It moved to we just have to nod and say yes, I'm uh huh, ma'am, and hey, baby, how you doing? Oh yeah, y'all put that in black people. Y'all put that in us so that we have to act like that. Because what happens when a black person makes a white person mad? Well, hey, baby, if you want a black lady to help out, how about the one that had all these nice white customers and clients that she gave discounts and free and helpful services to that she counseled and coached and mentored? And then when she said, hey, Hey, I need a break because it's too much for me. They decided to try to ruin her and her business. So literally, y'all put the fear of everything into us. And it's a trauma response. It's a trauma response. And I know that you're going to get, I don't even know how many black women. Hey, baby. Blah, blah. And the, to you, it's a trauma response that white people put in us. Now, the reason it feels like correct to you, the reason it feels like correct to you, 
And that is so offensive the way you're saying it, but whatever. The reason it feels like crack to you, honey, is because it is like crack. Because in your DNA, you, your blood memory remembers what it's like to have a slave. In your blood DNA, you remember what it's like to have black women at your feet, at your beck and call, who made you feel warm and loving because you were treating them like an animal, but we had to act like it was fine and natural and, and make it seem like the way you're at, that it's all okay. So it's a trauma response. And for everybody who want to argue with me that it's not a trauma response, you're in trauma. And that's a trauma response. The fact that when I saw her do that and even say, that's a trauma response from me. Because if I was over it and, and everything was all healed and, and, and I wasn't being racially traumatized every day on this app, I would have... That wouldn't have even come down my timeline. It would have been like bloop, bloop. But um, it's a trauma response. That's what it looks like. And that's how it shows up in real life. That's one of the reasons that I've been working with black women on decentering white women. And I have an ebook with that same name available right now in my stand store. But when a black woman calls me baby, there is so much. Y'all go ahead and listen to that message in its fullness. But baby girl, I just want to explain to you why you get those feelings of warmth and all of that stuff. Good old, way deep down, good feeling. It is due to slavery. Because we took care of you guys during slavery. Better than we took care of our own children. So that's why that feeling, when we call you baby, hits so hard. Because you are internally reminded of the days when we cared for you guys. That's what that is, babe. That's all. When a black woman calls me baby. As a fellow black woman, I would have to agree. All my favorite compliments are from black women. I'll never forget. I was going on a cruise for the first time last year. And there was this black lady that was working there. She was about 5'2". She had really short gray hair. Just stunning. Okay, she stops me. She says, I don't mean to stop you or anything, but you are absolutely beautiful and you look like the daughter I never had. Y'all, I was through. There is so much. I. You think it's magic when they call you, baby? The compliments out of nowhere. I'm sitting at a red light. I hear a toot. I look over. It's a black lady and a red Volkswagen bug. And I'm like, oh, shit. What did I do? And she just looks at me and she goes. I will never change it. I'm getting it touched up next week, but I'm never changing it. She meant that with her whole heart. It made my whole year. <laughs> I love her. She's my best friend in my head right now. What kind of magic are you putting in there? It's because white parents aren't inherently loving. So we're not used to it. Baby. There is so much- A lot of people have stitched this video talking about the mammy stereotype. All of that is valid. I'm here to offer you a slightly different framework. This is not a situation about black women being especially warm. I think this is a situation about white culture grooming white people to be especially cold. Because the warmth and love that people receive from black women, it's just, it's just not unique. You can go in that comment section and see people saying that they get the same type of vibes off of Hispanic women. It's not a matter of black women. It's a matter of women of color because white culture has conditioned people to value politeness over authenticity. It's because white culture is antithetical to community building because it values individualism. And that makes y'all cold. So when y'all receive the a normal amount of warmth and affection from a black woman, it feels like you're getting the heat of the sun directly. It's not especially warm. You're just cold. And no, y'all, I'm saying this from a place of love. I'm not trying to like speak down to white people or anything like that. The first step to fixing a problem is recognizing that you have one. This is why I'm always telling white people that y'all need to work on building your own culture and community. It's not enough for you to just reclaim other stuff. You have to learn those skills of how to be warm and loving to each other within yourself. That's not something you can just borrow and get from other ethnic identities. It's a skill y'all have to learn. It's a skill that has been lost generationally because instead of white mothers raising their own children, they hired black nannies to do the work. And I just, I really need people to stop putting black women up on a pedestal. Nobody should be up on a pedestal. 
I am really tired of how in social justice TikTok, people are not trying to dismantle hierarchies. You just invert them. So instead of black women being at the bottom of the social and economic hierarchy, y'all try to put us as the pinnacle, pinnacle of intelligence and wisdom and how everyone has to listen to black women. And like, yes, black women are correct nine times out of 10 when it comes to socioeconomic stuff. We tend to be very wise. We tend to be right about these things, but that don't mean we perfect. Black women have the capacity to be coercive and cruel just like anybody else. I just I really want people to stop trying to find the right person to blindly follow and, and think for your fucking selves. And if you feel like you're having a hard time thinking for yourself, you know what you do? You go ask your neighbor for help. Go learn your neighbor's fucking names. Like, you see how the air freshener in her window says anti-social moms club? Do you see how literally wearing the idea of being anti-social as like a badge of honor, like a quirky, fun, cute thing? This is the issue with white culture and individualism. It's manifesting right here. This is why she thinks that black women are especially warm, right? Because she goes out of her way to be fucking anti-social. Because whiteness. Stop being anti-social. Go learn your neighbor's name. It's me, baby. I'm sure a lot of people have seen that video and if you haven't please go watch it because she's 100 correct there is something about when a black woman called you baby and i say this because over the course of my time in the workforce i have had the pleasure and honor of working with some of the most beautiful amazing wise intelligent just wonderful black women and they have been mentors to me they have been friends they have been teachers they've been mother figures i've worked with some of the most wonderful black women and that feeling when they call you baby oh my gosh it is like a warm hug you didn't even know you need and you knew and you know when they call you baby you've done something right you have done something right and it is just the best feeling but also in my time having worked with these amazing women I know there is one territory you do not want to cross over into, and I mean this as respectfully as possible because I have had it happen to me, and man, oh man, I never wanted to go there again after it. When they call you little girl, and you know as soon as they say it, little girl, or little girl, like you, you messed up. Like you are about to receive a verbal admonishment like you've never received before, and you deserve it. You messed up. You fucked up. You did something wrong and you are about to get a ass chewing like you've never received before and you deserved it. Because when they whip out that phrase, it, that's it. It's a picture wrap. You, yes. So, I mean, that is the territory you do not want to cross over into. You want to stay in that nice, warm envelope of baby. There is so. If you felt weird watching that, but then read the comments and felt bad for feeling weird, I'm here to let you know it's okay to feel weird because it's weird i'm not going to question her intentions because i don't really care and my video is not about her intentions but more so that we need to know our history she was on to say that black women calling her baby makes her feel so loved and supported <laughs> and she even went on to say like oh i feel like a be or did you imprint on me like are you my mother <laughs> we're not your mammies please i beg of you read a couple books why do people feel this way and why do they feel so comfortable saying it? Could it be that we remind you of a good time breakfast? Black women have historically been forced into caretaker roles while at the same time having their children taken away from them. This caretaker nurturing stereotype is actually what has inspired me to be like as unfriendly as possible. <laughs> Black women are consistently called on to be nurturing, to be sweet, to be helpful, to educate people while nobody does that in return for us. Nobody gives us that same patience. Baby, where do you think these thoughts and feelings come from? Could they be from watching movies like The Help or Song of the South, Gone with the Wind? Like, why was it said and why was it so comfortable being said? And again, I don't really care about this person's intentions. I don't really care about anyone's intentions, but I do want people to like look at things historically and also in the present because we still have modern mammy characters or like the magical black friend who just always has some wisdom to depart. Like, girl, leave that boy alone. <laughs> oh my God. And what also just hit me and is at the same time making me very upset is that black women are historically deemed like caretakers, right? While at the same time being deemed unfit to take care of their own children. Oh, that burns me up. There were a lot of black women in those comments saying, oh, well, that's just so sweet. You know, that's how we want people to feel. We want people to feel loved. Da -da -da -da. I just want you to know that I don't feel that way. I'm not here to take care of anyone. I'm not here to educate anyone. Even though I guess I am educating right now, but not in a mammy way. 
can't win, can't win. But this also frustrates me because I am someone who does want to like send love into the world and like get everyone vibrating at a higher level. But only if we can look back on our history and apply it to the present day. And things like this are doing the opposite of that. As someone who was called Aunt Jemima by kids, white kids my age who didn't have bad intentions because I wore a scarf on my head because I wanted to like emulate my beautiful mother, I am not your mammy. I am not your caretaker. I'm not here to take care of anyone. I'm not here to educate anyone. I'm not here to like make you feel loved. I'm here to live my life. There were also people in those comments saying, um, oh, I feel the same way when like Latina women say mija. Same, same thing, honestly. Very, very similar history. So I want you to unpack that as well. You can't do that anymore. You can't force black women to take care of you while you totally disregard them. That's, that's, that's not happening anymore. Where she calls me. Despite what society tries to force us to believe, all of us, even black women ourselves, we are literally magical. And it comes out in jokes. It comes out in side conversations, how powerful we are. Like I said before, enslavers of black women had black women breastfeeding their children we our love is powerful our joy is powerful our peace is powerful i'm telling y'all everybody else sees it we black women have to start seeing it ourselves we've got to do the healing we've got to fight for our right to love ourselves and one another despite everything that the world has done to rip that from us because they know us up and the world needs us and we should just go ahead and do them this solid and save the world for them now listen to everything these people have said i can see that everybody has a point but from my own personal point of view i believe this particular woman who made this video didn't mean any harm she was basically expressing something that she has observed and experienced and a lot of palm colored people even black women too confirmed that this actually is a thing where they see a lot of palm colored people gravitating towards them maybe for advice or telling them their secrets seeking some kind of comfort or whatever so this is something that obviously happens but i feel like some of our sisters some black women took offense to it because they feel like she's perpetrating the mommy stereotype black women are not there to make you feel good black women are not there to give you comfort and make you feel better about yourself we only had to do that we actually had to pick up that personality traits over years and pass down from generation to generation as a survival trait because our ancestors had to take care of y'all from when you guys were children and our ancestors had to make sure you guys feel good because that kind of directly reflected on if we we're going to be safe if our family were going to be safe so we had no choice but to make you guys feel good and now things have changed you guys are no longer entitled to us bending over backwards and doing the whole mommy thing to make you guys feel good so i understand where that comes from but the question that i have is even though i believe some of these traits were picked up when black women were in survival mode from the days of slavery and then passed from generation to generation why is it that black women do it to everybody and not just palm colored people because even non-black people have confirmed to the same kind of kind treatment, kind words, empowering words, that matriarchal energy from black women. So it's not restricted to just palm colored women who receive this kind of love and affirmation and all of that from black women. So this is one reason why I feel we cannot completely tie it to just slavery. And another reason I feel this way is that black people, I believe, are inherently kind black people are inherently accommodating i feel like as a community that is the way our people are we are very family oriented we know how to show love we know how to make people feel safe and accepted even when they are not a part of us in our community and this is why i respect black people this is why i respect black women specifically because we are mothers when people say black women are the first women on earth this is what they mean that's mothering nature that nature to protect that nature to show love is inherent in us and i feel like i'm not gonna lie this is one of the reasons why it was easy for all these people to take advantage of our people and do all the nasty things that they did to us over all these generations and all these decades but then that is a discussion for another day but all in all, I'm going to say that listening to what that woman had to say and what the other palm colored women had to say made me sad for white people because deep down, I feel like it is because they don't get enough love from their own side. <laughs>
now i'm not judging but i feel like some of them are cold passive aggressive i mean if during the slavery times their mothers were actually handing them over to black women to take care of them that shows the level of maternal instinct that they have that shows the level of value of family that they have just like this other lady said they value individuality they may not necessarily be a people that value community and family ties and being kind to one another they have a language that to me is very heavy on passive aggressiveness individuality capitalism they look for a way to take and not give back and it also reflects on how they treat even themselves and even their children so in my opinion for a lot of palm colored people to feel this particular way when they are showed even the littlest amount of love and affection it shows how much that it is lacking in their life and in their community and even in their families so because of the backlash this palm colored lady was receiving she actually came out to make this second video which is a follow-up video or an apology uh, last week i made a video about the power and magic that is behind when a black woman calls you baby and how it makes you feel and that like that just it feels like a soul hug right um that video has since been reposted to hundreds of other pages uh, and it's kind of caused a little bit of uproar and I just kind of wanted to address some things. When I made that video, I was speaking from my heart, okay? I did not mean for it to, I started it off with, I hope this is not offensive to anybody because I wanted to just shed light on how magical an experience like that is. Do you know what I mean? Do I say my words perfectly at all times and communicate things exactly how I want to communicate them? Absolutely not. I've maybe I, I I don't doubt that there are different words that I could have used or whatever. But like I said, when I made that, I was speaking from my heart. Now, because this video has been reposted to so many different pages, like my audience knows me, right? My audience knows my heart. A lot of them know where I come from. Since it has been spread throughout the interwebs um it's come across a lot of people that don't know me that don't know anything about me and it's come across the wrong way to a lot of people i did not expect this to blow up the way that it did i was simply sharing from an experience that i have so the people that know me um a lot of them know where i grew up i was the minority most of my friends were black or people of color um, and I am so grateful that I was able to grow up in a diverse environment because I was able to experience other things that a lot of people that my color where they grow up and they're just them and that's all that's there don't get to experience. I grew up going to the cookouts. I grew up, um, you know, eating dinner with their families, going to their house. This was not my first experience with a black woman or the black community. I literally grew up in the black community. I just since I've moved to Texas from New York right New York where I'm from since I have moved here I haven't had those experiences as as much as I used to back home okay and that particular day when that happened it hit me in my chest and like I said it's just like it's like a soul hug there's magic behind it and it, that day I needed that and it made me feel some type of way so I felt like I should share it with the world to just let everybody know especially black women the power that they have behind them um i have always supported the black community i will always continue to support the black community and i did not say also i want to address the crack thing i did not say hits hard i i say hits harder than crack a lot because i was a crackhead i wasn't addressing the black community i was addressing my damn self and i am so sorry if that came across the wrong way because like i said this this video was open to a lot of people that have never seen my content don't know me from a hole in the wall and i understand how that could come across the wrong way but i was referring to my damn self um i never intend my my content that i post is always made from love it's made from my heart and it's supposed to always come across as that at the end of the day as a content creator i know that my content has the potential to be interpreted differently by every single person like i know that that's the internet everyone is entitled to their opinions and their feelings and i respect the hell out of that okay but i just felt like it was important for me to address a couple things and yeah i was there was never any ill intent behind that video i went up i have seen this video pop up on my for you page and i love her she's such a sweetheart um 
the fact that she felt so loving and she felt some kindness being brought towards her through this black lady that called her baby it really warms my heart and a lot of the comments on that video were great and fan fantastic and very welcoming but some of these stitches that i keep seeing pop up about how they're educating her about the fact that black women not modern day black women not today's black women not y'all not now have had to please white women and it's given the mammy effect we cannot go and do anything without anybody bringing up how everything is tied to slavery. This girl is sweet and genuine. Leave her alone. She didn't mean anything by it. Calm down. The power and magic that is behind. Before you hear what I say, make sure you go and watch that video um, in its entirety and maybe even the original video because I did see the video on my For You page and I liked it and kept it moving. And she was telling no lies. So for somebody to be upset about this or to think that she was trying to be funny, she was not. She even made a disclaimer like before sh the video just saying like no disrespect. This is just how they make me feel when they say it. It was her truth and where is the lie? Because I am a black woman myself. But when another black woman tells me or calls me, oh yeah, baby, it does something to my soul as well. It, it does. It gives auntie, grandma, everything's going to be all right vibes. So basically, that's just what I got from her. And if they got upset about that, I don't, I don't understand that at all. And the whole crack comment, like, come on. Come on now. Now TikTok. Y'all know when that song come on and, and it's crack or them chips you be trying to eat and you know you ain't supposed to eat them because you on a diet anyway, but they so fire and crack. It's like crack, you keep eating them. Or like when Rihanna was like, who cares when it feels like crack? Like we all know what that is, okay? So crack is whack, but then crack is other things too. So I feel like y'all just reaching with this video. Leave my cousin alone and have the data you deserve. Now, after hearing everything that she has said, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this lady making that video was wrong? Do you think she's perpetrating the mommy stereotype, which can be dangerous to black women because any black woman who doesn't give them that level of comfort and maternal nurturing is probably going to be perceived as a threat? Do you think her video was harmful to black women or do you think it was just a compliment and it came from a good place? Let me know. And if you're a black woman watching this, has any palm color person ever expressed something like this to you? I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.